Good morning, Hornets. It's a wonderful Wednesday here at VCHS. We're your host, Avery. And I'm Alexis. Let's start out with today's lunch. Today, we'll be enjoying a popcorn chicken bowl with mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, bro broccoli, dinner roll, banana, and a cold milk. With there being over 85 Oreo flavors, we, we went out to see what your favorite ones are. Hi, I'm here with. Hi, to Target. What's your favorite kind of Oreo? Um, vanilla Oreos. Hey. Hello, my name is Adler Andrew Kuntz, and my favorite type of Oreo is double stuff with milk. Hi, I'm Mr. Salmons. My favorite Oreo is the golden Oreo. Hi, my name's Sophia. Um, my favorite kind of Oreo would be the Halloween Oreos. Um, they don't taste any different, um, but I really like the color of them, and they're just more festive. Now let's jump into today's celebrations with these holidays. Now run down of your top five news stories. Hello, it's Andrew Smith. These are your top five news stories of the day. Shoppers are panic buying toilet paper out of fears of prolonged port strike. KU's current freshman class is more than 50 present out of state students. Tiger Board in Cedric County Zoo is moving to Alaska. Florida banning homeless people from sleeping in public places. Las Vegas, Las Vegas Casino Implosion Show will include 150 pyro drones. Have a day. Next, here is today's word and quote of the day. This week's word of the week is vindicate. Clear of blame or suspicion. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. Mother Teresa. Royals play off against the Yankees in tonight's playoff game. Let's see who you think will win the ser World Series. All right, I'm here with? Garrett Wilsoncroft. All right, Garrett, uh, who is going to win the World Series this year? The Detroit Tigers. Why? They have good pitching rotation, and their bats aren't been on fire lately. I disagree, but thank you. All right, I'm here with? Adler Andrew Kuntz. All right, Adler, who's going to win the World Series this year? A, Royals. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm here with? I don't know. Uh, Damien? All right, Damien, who's going to win the World Series this year? The Royals. That's what I'm talking about. Why? Because they hit bombs. They do. FCA bake sale this Friday before school in between the morning classes in the math hallway. Funds raised will be donated to the hurricane relief effort. We begin to warm up for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at today's weather. My name is Will Rupp. The high for today is going to be 87, the low is 59. Have a good day. And now it's time for a quick blast of the past. We'll leave you with this day in history. Stay classy, VC. October 9th, 1967. Che Guevara, the Latin American guerrilla leader, is executed in Bolivia while trying to spark a revolution. Guevara, who aided Fidel Castro's rise to power in Cuba, remains a global icon to this day. 2001. Letters with a New Jersey postmark that later test positive for anthrax spores are mailed to Capitol Hill. They're addressed to two Democratic senators, Tom Daschle of South Dakota and Patrick Leahy of Vermont. A Senate office building is later closed for months of cleanup, part of the nation's anthrax scare after the September 11th attacks. 1985. Palestinian hijackers who seized the cruise liner Achille Lauro surrender after the ship arrives in Egypt. It marks the end of a hostage ordeal in the Mediterranean that left an American passenger dead. 1975, Andrei Sakharov, the nuclear physicist and human rights advocate in what's then the Soviet Union, wins the Nobel Peace Prize. 2006, North Korea announced it had conducted its first nuclear weapons test, drawing condemnation from around the world. Also that year, internet search giant Google announced it was snapping up YouTube in a $1.65 billion stock deal. And in 1940, 
John Lennon, one of the Fab Four members of the Beatles, is born in Liverpool, England. Today in History, October 9th, John Belmont, The Associated Press.